arachnoiditis, first off, is not a new term. It's been known since the days of the Egyptian mummies. But what is it? The arachnoid is the layer, the most important layer of the spinal canal or of the meninges around the brain. It is the covering. And it is known that that layer can become inflamed. Once it becomes inflamed, it will attach itself to nerve roots or to the spinal cord itself or even a part of the brain itself. And that is the king of all pain. It is the worst pain that we could have. Now, it has been thought to be a rare disease in the past because it was hard to diagnose. But today we have blood markers, as well as knowing what the physical exam looks like. But the big thing is that the technology of the MRI has advanced since 1987 to a point today that every physician can be taught to recognize this neuroinflammation inside the spinal canal and as it attaches itself to the arachnoid layer. And this is a new thing in pain management, in my opinion, the most important part of pain management right now is that every pain practitioner needs to know how to diagnose the condition because it is not only not going away, it is now becoming quite clear that it's the major cause of what we call fail back surgery syndrome. It is the major cause of what we call cervical neck degeneration. In other words, it is a major issue in pain management. That is the name. It has ICD-10 numbers and the treatments have been developed for it. And so it is here to stay, and it is a major part of pain management. It probably has not really increased so much as it has that we have the diagnostic tools now to recognize it. For example, I personally, a year ago when I sat here being interviewed by you, I really couldn't diagnose it. But I didn't know how to look at these MRIs. Uh, we've now looked at in our and we have a special project to study this, and we've looked at over 300 MRIs from around the world. And uh, frankly, now that I understand it and know what to look for, I can teach a fifth grader how to see it. And so it's really quite interesting. But also, it's sort of the first time that you can look at, a, at an X-ray, if you will, and see pain. You see the nerve roots that are clumped. You see the adhesions. You see the inflammation. And it has brought the concept of microglial cell activation and neuroinflammation to the surface and it's put it all together that we not only can diagnose it we've actually developed and I will be presenting that here for the first time a regimens or protocol on how to treat it but the big thing about this is this will be the first time we're starting to treat the underlying causes of pain not just throwing symptomatic treatment at it like opioids and neuropathic agents and epidural blocks you see pain management has been nothing but symptomatic treatment we're now moving into a curative or treating the underlying cause, and that's what this represents. The first thing they need to know is know what it is. Okay, it's a new word. It's not a spider bite. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's an inflammation of the lining. They need to know that nerve roots and the spinal cord become inflamed due to these microglial cells. They need to know the concepts behind it. And then the most important thing they know how to do is to take a simple history from the patient and get a pretty good idea that that's what they have. In other words, it's like any other disease. If you know what to ask for, you know what to look for on a history and physical, you can make the diagnosis in about a minute at the primary care setting. And then you can get the MRI later, you can get the treatment later. But this falls into the same model uh, as rheumatoid arthritis or as emphysema or as diabetes. In other words, it's a very easy to diagnose. In fact, it's not all that hard to treat now that we understand it. But even more important, every primary care physician, every nurse practitioner, every physician assistant in this country now has cases and they're going to have to treat these people. The most important thing they need to know is this. In some ways, it's very, it's neuroinflammation inside the spinal cord and brain is in some ways very much like inflammation in a joint caused by rheumatoid arthritis. But the cell that causes inflammation inside the spinal cord and the brain is not the same cell that causes inflammation in the knee. The knee inflammation is caused by a lymphocyte. 
Inside the brain and the spinal cord and the nerve roots, a cell called the microglial cell causes the neuroinflammation. Why is this important? The drugs we use to treat rheumatoid arthritis will not treat inflammation inside the nervous system. It's a different set of drugs, and they're new to pain practitioners. They're not new to rheumatologists, for example, but old anti-inflammatory agents don't work. Uh, the biologics that we use for rheumatoid arthritis, like Remicade and Humira, don't work because they will not enter the spinal fluid. There is something called a blood-brain barrier that doesn't allow many drugs to get into the central nervous system, and so pain practitioners will have to learn a new set of drugs. And frankly, they're a lot easier, cheaper, safer than drugs like opioids and things we're used to using. So from that point of view, uh, they're, they're easy to work with. It's all right to be confused and not understand it quite early. It's taken me a while myself, but it's like anything else in medicine. Once you get into it, take a class or two, do a little reading about it. It's like anything else. It falls into line. And it not only falls into line, how, and, but the most important thing I have to tell practitioners is this. You've now got tools. You can now do something more for people. And frankly, in my experience, it makes the practice a lot more fun. This has been good news. All the way around, cuts costs, better treatment, families like it, patients like it. Uh, it's been exciting for me, and, but it moves us from the point of just symptomatic care into starting to deal and with the underlying cause of the pain. We've been waiting to do this for years. It's, it's finally here.